happens in subconscious, right? I, I, I know this stuff, so I'm always on the lookout and just trying to you know, interpret this. But most people are not going to say they probably want something. They're just going to get a feeling. And, it's gonna, and now this feeling is going to put defenses up. So it's the same thing about when I come up to you. When I come up to you, if I start talking too much right away, he's, his defense is going to go up because it's like, why would this happen, right? Because this doesn't happen on a, on a regular basis. People don't just come up and start talking, talking, talking. There must be something I want. So instead, if I want, if I want something from him, I would approach him very cool, right? Very calmly, and just say, "Hey, how's it going? Nice shoes." That's it, right? And that's a nice, easy sentence. Now it's easy. Do this on LinkedIn as well. Of course. Well, I mean, it's, 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 don't initiate the, the subject or the topic where you approach nope. him. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Because the moment you do that, so it depends again on what your objective is. You can do it. And, and, and of course they'll have some successes from it, right? If you send out, if I make a hundred phone calls, right? I'll have a percentage of success. If I send out a hundred emails, I'll have a percentage of success. What I'm talking about is increasing the percentages. So of those hundred that you send out, or of those hundred phone calls, you have a better success ratio, right? I mean, of course they'll have some feedback too. Um, so on LinkedIn, uh, that's, that's a very good point. So, so we'll go into how we initiate the first subject. But to, to start off with, we'll understand about how, yeah? Well, does it work with everybody or just American prospects? That's a great question, and I would say everybody. I would say okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm, and, 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 and that, that, that's a great question, and, and I know this now because I've been here for four months, and I'm prospecting myself. Right? I mean, I do this every single day, and so uh, we do this with Spanish, to uh, Switzerland, Germany, um, because it has nothing to do with countries, it has nothing to do with nationalities, cultures, and this also is something else uh, that I think would be useful to touch on. Um, the, hung the Hungarian perspective, something that I've learned in my conversations with people, um, outside of Europe, if you guys are approaching North Americans, nobody, um, uh, yes, sure. I'm gonna say, no. yeah, sure. So in, in the nicest way possible, nobody cares about being hungry. Nobody cares. In, in, in the best way possible, it's not a negative thing. Nobody, nobody cares because it doesn't matter, right? This is the thing. And so I've learned this actually in conversations with a lot of people in Hungary is that there's, this, uh, there's uh, great products, great services, great people here who have great things to present, but they're nervous about presenting it to North America, right? Because, they, because of the perception of how we look at Hungary. Here's how we look at Hungary. It doesn't matter. It's Europe. That's when we get hungry. If you say you're from Hungary, you say you're from Estonia, you say you're from Spain, Switzerland, it's, it's, it's hungry. 